can kind of transition over to a team that is absolutely killing it on all cylinders. And this is what they should have been doing from the beginning, man. Like, they should have been doing this since day one. Yeah. But, I mean, maybe maybe it really is. Like, the manager is just bringing them down. We're talking about the uh, the Philadelphia Phillies yeah. over here and, and how they have just absolutely... Turn it yeah. around. They're coming back. They're they're on a they're on a what is it a seven they're on a seven game winning streak right, right now. Right. A seven game winning streak. Obviously, maybe they lose tonight. Who cares? But that's still really impressive. Like winning streaks, as we've seen from the Toronto Blue Jays, can jump you ahead in the standings. Like that's all. That's what you need in baseball. You need those big winning streaks, and they've got it. They've got it, um, which is really impressive. Which brings up the idea. Here's another way. Before I bring up the idea, also. We heard that the Angels fired Joe Girardi this week, mm -hmm. and the Angels finally snapped their losing streak. They finally snapped it. They're one, in, one for nine, and one in nine in their last ten, and they finally snapped the losing streak after firing their manager. So the question is, is this the formula for to, to become elite if you are struggling super, super bad? Yeah, I think it, I mean, it is, dude. It's like... <laughs> Because realistically, like they had, they were at rock bottom, both of them. Ooh. They were at rock bottom, mm -hmm. both of them, uh, both of them, excuse me. And they had absolutely no other option than to pull the trigger on this. Yeah. So you have to do it. And I mean, I do. I think that every time you fire your manager, you're gonna go on a seven game winning streak. Like probably not. Probably not. Um, probably not. But I mean, like it's got to feel really good. It makes the general manager feel pretty great, being like, all right, well. Like, well, I was a good yeah, I, like, I bet it, the Phillies general manager is feeling really good. Right oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, like, like you can't be doing better than you are right yeah. now, you know. And you're clawing your way back into this mix, dude. So like, yeah. shout out Phillies, man. Like, I think Bryce Harper's got like five home runs or six home runs in five games or wow. five home runs in six games. He's rejuvenated. Yeah, he's rejuvenated, <laughs> man. You know, he's, and he's doing it all with a bum elbow. So like, yeah, like the well, Phillies needed this, dude. And, he, and here's another thing to consider too that I never really realized until the LA manager was fired, uh, Joe Madden, is that um, both of those managers were hired by the previous general managers. Mm. So the new general managers had no like connection. They didn't mm -hmm. hire them, mm -hmm. so they were easy. They were easy snips, mm -hmm. which also makes me think about Charlie Montoyo. Who brought in Charlie Montoyo? Well, it was Ross Atkins and Mark yeah, Shapiro. Yeah. Like they they brought him in. So. That's why and he's not getting, like I think the conversation of oh, Montoya is it's, it's, it's over. completely over. It's I mean, over like, now. At the end of the day, like you know, we're, we're right now I think on consensus rankings like you know a top eight team, top eight you know, team. like pretty much in everyone. MLB ranking. had us top six in their power rankings. Yeah, you know, and it's like, like that's, that's crazy. like that's great to see, you know, but it's like you can't really ask for anything better than a top eight team. Like, yeah. Like if you're a top eight team year in and year out, like you will not get fired. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. You just won't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it's like. Absolutely. So.